Hello folks and welcome back to New Man's Land as we are in dusk now. Sun's going down and we need to get the seeding done for the wheat fields done right now. So what we've gone done is bought the truck over here, bought the lorry over here, got some of the pallets or planks, mushrooms and flowers owed up. So we can sell those tomorrow, we'll sell those along with the eggs and anything else we produce overnight. But yeah, so what we need to do first of all is grab the cedar and just recap. Mine's gone down, we'll explain that in a minute. So this is our grass field. As you said, next year, that's going to be canola, that's going to be sunflower. This will be the blank for now, unless we do plant it, and then whatever we use for the BGA, we can just eradicate the crop. This is going to be the cotton fields, and these two are going to be wheat. I'm trying to think of what else could we do. Perhaps do corn and that, get some maize silage out of it. Uh, of course, getting the harvester for that. We do sorghum, give that to the chickens as well. But I think we'll do, you know what, we'll just do wheat on all three of these. But yeah, mine's gone down, that's because we've... One got the quick, quick bather for the use for when we get all the silage in the next episode. Because that will be ready in mow it in November. I'll be ready in December. And the price for silage. We have a little look. And they've gone past it. Oh, there we go. Silage so right there. It's going to peak around 340 per thousand litres. And that's at the farm shop. Farm shop 327 at the moment. So we can sell some now. Or sell everything container 327. But I'll wait a little bit longer, I will. That's the thing, we're going to get a lot of money because the, the economy sense we set ourselves on here is really tough and I do mean really tough because usually we we'll get about 500 per thousand years but okay can't get the wash seeds but we do have the other cedar over there and I think we'll just use do we use both or just one I think for the sake of it, we'll just use the one tractor for these. Especially when we do it fast farming and that. It's going to be done very quickly. But yeah, that's going to be a huge mow. Moment session over there. I'm just going to say we're going to do silage and not hay, as I first thought. Is if we... Here. We transform some of the TMR over, so we get some more... But yeah, look at 851,000 litres of TMR. I love the grass. I didn't realise we had grass in here. Wait a minute. Transfer that grass into the other, the fermenter. But yeah, so 72,000 litres of silage in there. And we've already got TMR on the go. So when this runs out, to stop the TMR production for the time being because we've got enough feed for at least a year for the cows. In here, we've got tons of silage, but yeah, that amount of grass there that's going to take two months to process, so three months in total for the other bits. So that's November, December, January. If we put it in there now just keep on top of it and then we'll have a massive session over the winter and that. 
not mean to detach. But yeah, so it gets all transferred over, and then we'll go on to the seeding. And there we go with the last of the tree loads. Yeah, we did cheekily buy uh, that TARDIS trailer just to get the bulk of everything over. But so we bought that, sold that, cost us uh, 3900 in total for that. So yeah, it was worthwhile. I think that's just speed things up a little bit just so that we know everything is in one side now. So if we have a look. We've got 566,000 years of silage, so that would net us about 200 grand when we come to sell that. That is not everything. Obviously we'll get more when we do the mowing, which is courtesy us of this. So basically we took the chrome to shop, we had it repainted, of course as you see. Also we had a added PTO attached to it. So now, that will work as a mower, well not as a mower, as a baiter. And we bought this, the crone, quick, quick bell in a nice gold. So, that'll be useful tomorrow. If you try to get it done today, it'd be ideal, but I very much doubt that. Just because of the simple fact that we're losing light now, so... And it makes recording stuff. Okay, but obviously when this is all rendering out, it does make it look darker than it actually is, especially with one running on 4K HDR and that, so it is bright for me compared to what it is on the actual recording. But anywho, so there we go, just dump loose there for now. So I'm pretty sure we're going to need those. And we'll just top this up. But yeah, I think doing weed is a good idea. It's just for animal feed, that is. As for animal feeds, the canoe so far we're going to be doing for the oils. And the cotton is simply for her. Mainly the clothing factory. I'm just going to get the rest of these in. Working out too well. Oh, well, luckily this was close enough. Didn't realise that. So we've grabbed it. It said, "Make our life so much easier." Because yeah, we'll do the wheat now. The cotton that will be done in February, and the canoe and all that will be done in March. How we met. When is the sunflower ready to be harvested? Tomorrow, so yeah. 
Uh, I'll speak about something else, but remember, we talked about in the last episodes of doing alternations on the fields, but. There we go, get the straps on. Sift it up, raise the spoon, and there we go. That's the seat going in. I should consume most of this, if not all. Yeah, that's pretty much all of it. I doubt it will consume all the seeds now. Perhaps when we do the cotton and that, it will, but. For the time being, they'll be fine. I will put our main beam on as well. That's a good thing about having the side panel is you can use that. Wheat. Yep, we're doing wheat. So yeah. Also, there's a rolling we've got to do. So do as much as we can now with what lighting we've got left over. And the rest will be done in the dark. If it gets too dark, then we'll just simply do it off camera. But, anyways, I will tell this, get it smashed out. And why aren't we fast farming? Ah, I don't have the thing attached. Where's that to? Where's that drawbar to? Is it on this one? No. Where is that? Where's the drawbar to? There we go. Found it. Left it by the greenhouses when I was opening up the lorry and that. Completely forgot about that. But anyways, we've got it now. But you know what? Leave that times one. It's like cheating even at half time speed. This is a camera, is this a bullpen or a pin hook attacher? Ah, this one's a three point linkage. Why is that? What's the other one? Is that a pin? Ah, yeah, so that's the pin one. Oh, you no, know what? Might as well convert this one over so. Cheeky toolbox. Prepare that as well since we're here. There's the wolves going again. There we go, attached to the middle. So now, there we go, that's better. That's what we're looking for. Let's make sure it's actually seeding. Oh yeah, you can tell the texture difference. Uh, also, this needs um, weed in, he's rolled in, and fertilizer. So, really, should have done the fertilizing first, but we're just running short on time, so let's get it done now. I will worry about the fertilizing later on.
so that is all of the scene done. Everything's been rolled and got to throw those down as much as we can. Let's just put this last pallet of mushrooms on. That fell off. So yeah, we sold some products yesterday. And we're selling some more today before we get to the main money maker I think is gonna be the eggs. So yeah, you got your usual flowers, mushrooms, planks, flour, bread, canola, and sunflower oil, and a little bit of cake. A lot of these were just around and that, and what a fall. They're over there, so let's just zoom up and sell them. And we're going to sell most of these, first of all, at the sell everything container. So let's go around. But yeah, so we've got things like the lime that need doing. Got that done. But we did get the second application on all the fields, just like one field, I think it was, the lime field. So the plan now is to get the eggs sold, also our sunflowers ready to harvest, and we've still got like the moment to do as well on top of this. So yeah, that'll be interesting. Oh no. Oh. Only what let's just sell the rest here. So all in all, what's that, about a hundred grand or so, give or take? I'll sell these flowers. So yeah, around about a hundred grand or so. I think that was. The only thing that's probably the most amount of money we're going to be making, because I'm not sure how many pallets of eggs we got, but we can have a little look here. And alright, so we're just going to grab these egg pallets over here, but overall we've got 38 egg pallets, so that is, ooh, if I had to guess, 3, 15, 19, 50, about 52,000 litres of eggs. Actually, probably 53,000 litres once you consider these eggs as well. That's a lot of eggs. The next is going for like three and a half grand per thousand litres at the moment, I think. Yep, 3577. So that is a ton of a eggs there. Well, there's a big ton of eggs there, so we've got 30 here and 8 over there. And hopefully these should be quite easy to load up, so that's not too many pallets as well. So you know, I'm happy to put like, these two at the front. And they're only going to the market stall. So it's just over there. So we have a little look here, just in case you lot didn't remember. Or if anyone missed the episode where we put this down by... Not accident, but it was just sort of more like, slap it down. Right there. Haven't redecorated the cell point or anything yet. But we'll get around to that, I think. Just gonna put a little track in. So yeah, we should get about 175 to 200 grand for these eggs. Oh, no, 
do that one. But your eggs, right at its peak now. Actually, it's starting to go down everywhere else, but it was at its peak, or it's going to be at its peak, so. Yeah, it's just trying to do it in a way that makes life so much easier. Getting these suited up. Can we do, yeah, we could do two by two like these, so if I say we boom out, there we go. So, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. So, I'm going to get the rest of this done off camera. So, you don't have to watch me meticulously get this all loaded up. Even once this is all loaded. And there we go with that loaded up. So, yeah, pretty much right. 54,100 litres. So, we're going to make quite a bit of money from this. narrow cell point. There we go. Look at that body shooting up. May not take it as fast, but it does what it needs to do. There we go, that's up here. Hit 640. Come on, 640. Ah, just right. Oh no. 188,000. Another fight. That is ooh, quite a bit of money there. So, yeah, 185 to 200 grand. There you go. I've still got the flour, the honey, and whatever cakes that we have, bread. All that still to sell tomorrow. But yeah, if we have a look here. Fertilizing. So in this bit here, I got fully fertilized. We did manage to get everything fertilized, even in this bit here now, just for, for a safe bit. Whilst we were seeding and rolling, I thought, get a worker. Get them to get back and forth on this, and afterwards we just, you know, go over the edges and that, see if anything was needed doing. Ooh. That needs plowing. Alright. We'll do that in the next year. Because why not we hard planting sunflower? Sunflower and that. Is in March, Canola is in August next year, so ah, I did say we was gonna plant that field at show week, didn't we? Harvest that then ah bugger. Oh no well anyways that's blank anyways now so Anywho, so yeah, we've got two things to do now left for today, is the mowing, and the sunflower harvest. Let's 
park these over here for now. I think let's do the mowing, I think. There we go. Because what a little trick with this. Able to mow and bail at twenty-four miles an hour. A bell size one eighty check soft drop in that is what we want. So let's where should we start off with? Let's start with over this side I think. Ah that's got to be moved I think. But yeah, I didn't realise this needed ploughing. Oh well, now we know. So yeah, let's go... Lower. Lower. And normally, this is what we'll do. Okay, stop there. Up. A bit anticlimactic there. But yeah, so normally, you know, just put cruise control on. We'll go up to top speeds. We can technically mow, which is 14, 15 miles an hour, which is nice. It's nice. But, if we go L1 and quickly dub top X, okay, the front slightly raised as part of the forward mechanism, but now we can fast farm, or farm even faster. Because we are mowing and baiting at 24 miles an hour. 24, 25 miles an hour? Come on! Mowing and baiting at 25 miles an hour. And this will work as long as you don't raise or fold the equipment. What we have to do is just lower it, let it lower, press L1 and double tap X on con on PlayStation, and then yeah, you can fast forward. So tricks like these, it does make a difference, especially when we're doing this on such a huge scale. It's not just a little bit here and there or whatever, it's pretty massive. I think actually we've got the money in that at the moment. We could buy another plot of land, get some quick bales out of that. Even if you do nothing with the field, we can always just sell the land afterwards, you know, do a bit of field flipping. But yeah, look at this. This is definitely a game changer, it's going to make all the difference for us. So yeah, I'll get us done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments. Had me down for the count, I was on nine, nine all the time. Shattered soul, you took control, but now I'm gone by.
So, I haven't quite completed the moon yet. We only have a little bit left to do. So, you've got this section here and this bit here. However, we had to stop because we hit the bell limit, unfortunately. 200 bells. So, we need story. So, I've been looking. We do have some bell storage mods enabled. But however, I didn't come across this until I joined. Uh, what was it, Miss Peace Discord ser um, dedicated server and that on uh, multiplayer and there is a mod that they're using for bell storage so it's under silos and it's all the way at the end and it is the warehouse pack so we have potentially like this store 2,000 pallets I mean, compared to like, the footprint and that, yeah, it's slightly bigger than that, but I'm thinking once we clear um, those pallets there, and once we get the BG in, because that's half a million, you can potentially get that in. However, even for 25 grand, we can have this. So I think if we say do that, put that in over there, 25 grand. Yeah, perhaps we could just mow this and pick it up with the forge wagon, dump it, and then, yeah, you know, just carry on like that, but... I was like, moving all of a sudden, I was like, Ooh. it stopped. I'm bailing. It did have a notification popped up or anything saying we've hit the pallet limit or the bell limit, so that's new because I swear before, whenever you hit the bell limit, it'll say bell limit reached. But no, for me, nothing popped up. Yeah, we got a ton of bells here 200 bells. Plus a little bit more we'll get afterwards. Just zooming around. Just picking up whatever bells as we go along here. Also we've been moments like some sections of grass up there that we obviously had for into a field because it was just just simply because it was a bit of a hassle in that. That's another three four bells. Now we'll sort of lose in there. Yeah, that's two hundred and fifty-five thousand litres of bells there. 
So already, that's 510,000 years of silage. And what I'm going to do is simply continue with this, get these belts picked up, finish off the mowing, and then we'll resume afterwards and see where we stand. So maybe about another back up to one speed. See about another half an hour or so, perhaps. So yep, I'll finish this off and I'll see you folks in a second here. So right then we we'll tried to do the bells and for some reason now it says oh we've hit the bell limit. Even though the bells are in storage, it shouldn't affect us doing more bells if it's in storage, but who knows? So what I've done is go and pick it all up. Since that is full of grass, I thought let's make hay, then transfer it over. So there was a hundred thousand years in here, so we convert that over into here, a hundred eight thousand years of hay. That was what was already in there. And currently we've got a quarter of a mil, along with 35,000, so that is 285 additional thousand litres of silage. So overall, it's going to be looking pretty good for us. But now, for the last task of the day, as far as up, get us unfolded. Unfold the header. Because now we need to do the sunflower harvest. Or what we've got there, because. Yeah, I can't believe we've managed to screw that up. How, I do not know. How I didn't pick that up. Who knows? But yeah, we haven't got the massive 80 meter header. We've got the 9 meter one. May have said in the last episode, uh, it's simply because of. Of just speed issues for some weird reason. But anyway, so we'll get sunflowers. Oh, yeah, I forgot this was the closest one. Let's just reduce the speed a little bit. 10, 11 miles an hour. That's reasonable enough. But yeah, this is the closest header, but this is the unrealistic one I accidentally bought. I went to get the normal closest one, but it's good to know that the header works on other combines, not just the closest one. That was really handy to know. But yeah, no idea how much we're going to get from this. And yeah, quite a bit of sunflower oil, that's for sure, so I think in. Once this is full, we'll put the first combine load into the farm supply production. That's the way then we can get some nice sunflower oil. But yeah, I was just thinking we do have to mod extended oil production. Which lets you do additional stuff. So go over here. So yeah, we can do corn oil. Soybean oil, canoe oil, sunflower oil, and olive oil. So corn and soybeans. When can we plant those? Corn and soybeans, April. So perhaps we can convert the fields, let's see this fields into your grass field now. Yeah, it's be interesting to do corn and soybean oil. We have the capacity of getting more fields in now. Do a quick turnover, perhaps? Nah. Yeah, that's probably enough time to do it. Definitely for sure. But yeah, so, anyways, we will finish this off. It shouldn't take too long. Yeah, I think, yeah. But I said, first combine loads will go into the um, farm supply production and the rest will keep in storage. But yeah, anyways, get us done. I'll see you folks in a few moments.
go, we are done. So that is 50,000 years of sunflower. 80,000 years is already in the farm supply production. We do have some stones. This will only get us 100 liters of gold. However, it's better than nothing, so you know what? No, that's where it spawns. It's over here. There we go. Just got done that. And that's it, you heard just a little bit of stones. But yeah, all this now really needs to do is line the field, prep the field for next year. But we're getting most of this finish off in the next episode, so plan for the winter is perhaps get some more stones. Because that mega field, we don't need to do anything to that until February, so I'm thinking if we plow the field, rock pick it, plow again, rock pick it, etc, etc. That'd be a good way of getting some like, infinite amount of stones, but we're going to probably do it once now. Also, as you may see in the time lapse, I did, well, technically shorten the field. Actually, wait a minute, is this field seeded? Wait a minute, does it need plowing? I think it does, doesn't it? Actually, you know what? We can do that as well in the next episode. Let's get these plowed up as well. Quickly, in this month, put some grass back in here. We'll get a sub grinder. Obviously, to grind this off and then flatten this out. But yeah, I just want to create more of a division. Yes, we lost a bit of grass field in there. But you know what? Overall, I'm not too fussed on that. Where are you going? There we go, just go straight. There we go. Yeah, that's plucked down, still. Actually, we've got this still attached, so. I should just leave that back on the. Yeah, leave you back on that, so, because we'll grab that anyways next. The seeding might easily be done in just one pass, so we don't really need to fast farm it. But yeah, so anyways, I swear we're going to leave it today, so got a bit of a busy winter ahead of us. Just prepare things for the winter, or for spring. Also, we've got slides to sell in February. Dad would do that in the next oh no, did not mean to do that. I doubt we'll do that in the next episode. Let's go and reset those. But yeah, so anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share so please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But first you to do Hope you have a nice day, but for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.